So here we go. Preschool mom violently assaults teacher at Catholic school in Grove Town. Now you guys must be wondering why she's smiling. Well, it's because the teacher abused her child. Now I know you guys are going to love this statement because I fucking did. I know you'll be sharing a picture of my mugshot soon, so I'm reaching out to give you details from my side to help add some validity to what you report. I was arrested and charged with battery after the administration of St. Teresa of Avila Catholic Church Preschool Program pulled video surveillance footage of my nonverbal two-year-old son's daycare classroom and for three hours I watched his teacher spank him several times, hit him in the head, slap him with a book, shove him to the ground, snatch him up by one arm and carry him across the room multiple times, slam him in his seat and make him eat lunch alone in time out, pick him up by his ankles and hold him on his neck and head and grab his face so hard his cheeks were touching to his mouth as she was nose to nose with him amongst other things. The daycare director dismissed her employee's actions and ensured me that she would be keeping her job. She claimed to see nothing wrong with the teacher's abusive behavior until she could no longer deny what we both had watched and asked me what I wanted to do about it. I requested to speak with the teacher to hear her side and they agreed. Smart mom. I appreciate the opportunity to see her feel how my two-year-old son felt when she was standing over him, laying helplessly on the ground. To be honest, if that kind of shit happened to my child too, I would do the exact same thing. But hold on, one moment. You guys are going to hate this. Local church teacher who was assaulted by mother claiming abuse is cleared of wrongdoing. And that is why the mom beat up the teacher, because she knew there would be no justice done for her two-year-old son. Two years old, a teacher of 61 was literally abusing this two-year-old boy. You better believe that I'm going to be messaging this school, this church, and give them a piece of my mind. Let's be honest, it's not the first time that a church has gotten away with child abuse, and it definitely won't be the last. So it's really up to us to make the change and do something about it.